Today we are going to meet up with Liz from Late Afternoon. I am so inspired by her fashion sense that I am like thrilled to get into her house. So come hang out with us on this episode of House Trip. I'm Leah. And I'm Mary. And we're the founders of the lifestyle brand of Fab Life. With a full service design company and a popular website, we have a passion for keeping our clients and viewers both inspired and well styled. Now we're taking a trip to the most fashionable of today's digital tastemakers' homes to check out their interiors and how it inspires them to live a truly fab life. This is House Trip. Hey guys! Hey! Hi. Welcome to my little Hollywood bungalow. I so love it. Cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, tell us about your vlog. My vlog is late afternoon. But yeah, I started when I was still in college and just kind of needed something fun and creative to mm -hmm. do. So your blog it's it's fashion. Personal style, maybe with a little bit of lifestyle. Lifestyle, some decor stuff. Yeah. Because that really shines through in your home. Thank you. And it's got style. Yeah, and like it carries over just like the vin I think like the vintage and mixing it with modern and in an interesting way that's really fresh. Yeah, you've got some really great pieces. I know you were telling us about your favorite piece. That is like my favorite piece I've ever bought. Really? I love the little hands and feet on it, and mm -hmm. we found it at this really random like vintage antique store. I really just like to get things that I love and try to find ways to make them work. I wouldn't say I'm all vintage because I do like really modern elements as well. So I just kind of like to try to mix as many of my favorite things together, but have them make sense whether it's through the color palette or just because they're things that are meaningful to me. Right. Hi! 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 these dogs? How do you select dogs? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of similar to my vintage selection. Okay. I just fall in love with one and then I can't say no. <laughs> and that's what happens every time. <laughs> and that's why I have so many. <laughs> um, like this guy was my first and I went to the pound and this is what he did. I mean, how do, how do you not take you that can't. home? Like, you, this is my weenie. This is our oldest. <laughs> and then that's Boogie, he's the youngest, he's the baby. He's the baby of the family. <laughs> he looks like a baby. We have one more that we found, and he's in here. Oh, hi little baby. Hey. That is so cool that you <laughs> have that teepee there. That was actually a gift uh, from my fiance for Christmas. He made that for us so that we could take it for our picnic. It's actually like we completely um, oh my put it together, stick it in the car, and drive out with it. I want a teepee. Like, how can I figure that out? Well, talk to the Beyonce. It's really easy. Really? Yeah, it's really simple. Actually, we, we think we just Googled it on Pinterest. Okay, and tell us about your gallery wall. I love how you arranged it. All of the art besides that flower one is actually done by my fiance. And then some of the other things are uh, frames of like picture frames of our friends, our family. And then this little drawer with the mirror is actually just a vintage find. That's so cool to put that on the wall. Yeah, and I like that it has a knob. It makes it kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. that makes it definitely very different. I know, that elephant and the camera are really cool. Mm -hmm. The elephant is a flea market find, and then the camera is um, Sam's Christmas. Oh, oh my god. The cuteness just keeps on going. I know. And kitchen. so this is our little kitchen. Pretty, you know, original 1950s cabinets and everything. Darking. So we wanted to kind of make it a little bit more modern with the glass table and kind of the poppy color palette. And I love that the chairs don't match. I yep. think that's fun. And I love that it's glass because it's just not overwhelming to the space and to your eyes. So yeah, it doesn't really close awesome. it up to yeah. you. Yeah. Like you can walk into it. I love it. And then this art's really cool too. Is this another fiance piece? Yes, that was a gift uh, for our six year anniversary. That just happened in February. So congratulations. I, wow. Yeah, congratulations. I showed him a picture of something that I liked that was similar and then I woke up and I was had made that for him. Oh my oh god! He's very crafty. He's, he's, he's more crafty than I am. <laughs> <laughs> you That's a good pair. thing. That is a like good thing. Okay, like, we, where are we going next? Yeah, let like, me tell us. Of course, we have my cat. Oh. oh. Because no house is complete without a cat. What's the cat's name? Moo Moo. <laughs> cow. <laughs> oh, Mary, look at all the flower crowns. Are you jealous? Yeah, no, I love that I see you're wearing one. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be perfect. Some of them I made, some of them were gifted, and then that one is vintage, the blue one. Oh. This is really good, too. And it's an M. For Mary. <laughs> I like to Wait. have it all laid out for like easy styling, you know, so I put on my outfit and then I kind of see everything Smart. and I can start picking and putting it on. It makes it organized and easier to get dressed. Genius. So is this your closet? This is just, I like to put out my favorite vintage pieces to kind of inspire me and, and whatever color palette I'm currently playing around with. So right now I'm, I'm inspired. Silvers and whites and a little bit of blues. So I pulled out my favorite vintage pieces. Okay, let's see some of these vintage pieces.
darling to die for. Meanwhile, Mary is like the I mean, animal whisperer. Right there. <laughs> I mean, too. I'm happy. I love it here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Mary's happy. Vintage and animal. I know. I'm like, I could watch this all day long. <laughs> but I love this. Just a little chair for a side table. Yeah. Darling. So do you have like a favorite DIY or a favorite project that you worked on in the house that you kind of, that you maybe can be like easy for viewers or something, you know, just inspiring that... Sure. Um, I actually love reupholstery things. Okay. So in my bedroom, I have a little bench for mm -hmm. my bed and then a little chair for my desk. And those have been reupholstered maybe like five times. Oh, really? Um, I kind of just do it every time I get bored and I want like a new pop of color. I'll just yeah. go pick up some fabric, quickly reupholster it, and done. And it kind of gives your room a fresh new feel without having to buy a new piece or really yeah. having to do more than maybe buy like a $10 piece of fabric and spend 10 minutes. Stapling, stapling it at the bottom. I yeah. love that. That's a good one. So I noticed a lot of empty frames, big frames that are empty. I just kind of like it. <laughs> I don't okay. know. I just, I really like big gold kind of tacky <laughs> frames. My fiance hates it, but I like them, so I just kind of place them everywhere. Again, you've done such a great job. Thank you guys. I love it's it. So yeah. Cute. Gosh, I'm going to have to rip so Mary out of here between <laughs> the vintage, the dogs. I know. I'm like, oh, everything oh, else. Oh, no. You got you got like, attention. I'm done. <laughs> no, thanks for coming. Oh guys. Yes, yes, thanks for having us. us. Getting covered in dog hair. Yes, you know what? <laughs> yes, we, we love, love it. it. Yes. We love it. Between the vintage and the puppies, I kind of feel you had to drag me out of there. Yeah, I was worried about <laughs> ever getting you to leave, actually. Yeah, I was ready to move in. Well, thanks so much for watching this episode of House Trip. And for more of us, check out afablife.com. Bye. Bye.